Hello, people of the internet. My name is Buddy702 here, and welcome back to the world of 1.15.2. Since the last video, it has been, well, it's been a month, and I decided not to stick around in this world. Instead, I decided to pop onto one of my old servers I used to play on, and as you can see, a little, what's it called, the area down there. My little belt that is blue and yellow. Well, we're going to pop onto that server now, so I'll meet you over there. Now, we are here on the lovely Mushroom Co server. Also, well, its official name is called Webcraft. So, this is an absolutely amazing server, which I used to play on quite a bit. Oh, okay. And as you can see, not that button. This button here, we are in 1.15.2. And this is a new spawn that they have just built in. Oh, this is actually the same building I've seen quite a few years ago. But the spawn is just quite brand new. I've moved it to a new location. And it's incredible how fast things build up. But I used to play on the server back in 2017. And I, yeah, I used to spend <laughs> a lot of time on here. You can see the amount of people on here. And yeah, I've decided I'll start work in a lovely world. And explore and see what everything is like. So, a little AFK section there. So, if we go to my home, which I call home base, this is where I have set up shop. Oh, lovely connection loading there. So, I've got myself a little melon pumpkin farm, little sorting system, and then my lot of stuff here. I've done, I love the little like lanterns that they have around. They take such a while to break with hand, but you can break them with a pickaxe. And I've been working on little farms and that around here. My most annoying one is sheep. They're so irritating to move around. But as you can see, it pumps out the resources here. And I love the new ability to auto share them, which is amazing. A good way to make profits and incomes. Got our little bubble elevators here. Pop up to another level here. We walk into an empty room, which we're going to be working on this soon. But we have got ourselves a lovely melon and pumpkin farm. And this is such a simple design. It pumps out the pumpkins and that. We're going to be planning on expanding this up here very soon. A little miniature smelter, which is pretty <laughs> not the best in size. But then we have got our villager trading area. Now, I love the new updates to these villages. Like, you can just go around, destroy their workstations, and rotate them around. But as you can see, I spent some time. Like, we've got a Silk Touch villager here. The thing I love about this, it's nine emeralds for a book. But down here, it's 18 <laughs> for a book. It says, oh, I'm going to charge you some more. Which makes no sense, my friend. Then we've got this one here. He took forever to get an Efficiency 5 book. I cannot... Oh... It took hours and hours of breaking this lectern, roasting it, sending it around to get this here. It's so expensive though. I'm hoping to try and get a cheaper version or try and get some zombies in to lower their prices and cure them. But on the server, mobs have been turned off. So they don't spawn. But then there is mob spawners, which I've luckily found one of those there. We also have some fortune villagers as well. We have a lovely unbreaking villager and mending for 32 emeralds and 22. I was like, oh, oh well, but I got a better oh, looting. Whatever else is in here, but we did get a beautiful mending villager. Was it this one here? I think it's this one here. Yeah, for 12 emeralds that has been lower in price, but. Yeah, this is my little area here. And if we hop round, I have got a little area of oh, this little storing system. If we pop through here, you can see I've got these automatic farms. And they are absolutely amazing. My dudes, if we pop down here, go around here. This is pretty much just a base exploration. I don't have the best setup for things set up at the moment. And yes, I do have the ability to fly, which I don't use too often. I try not to. try to keep as much of survival as possible. But we've got these guys. They just throw it in. And then it gets collected down into here. And that's a... <laughs> it works. And then we've got this lovely bamboo texture. 
Like, it's incredible how fast this stuff grows. I'm not exactly sure. Like, I know you can make... What's it called? Scaffolding blocks out of it, but I haven't really experimented with it. I was just going to try and use this as a way to do a furnace smelting supply. I think that they can smelt up. And then I was going to try and create a bone meal farm. As you can see here, we've got an iron beacon. So if we just pop up to our top base up here, we just have to go up the old ladder system. That I did used to have it connected up to the top there, but I did change the space around. Uh, let's just mine out this area here so I can try and escape. So this is all underground, as you can tell. I like building underground because you don't have to build anything pretty. I'm too pressy anyway. My style is pretty rustic. But if we go up here, we pop up to a little empty out area. This used to be a huge base I used to have up here, but I decided to move underground. Have our little button. And then we have our Vault 702. Danger property of New Zealand. I don't know why I've done that, but this is my little area like nice and hidden and then I've just planted a whole lot of spruce here just to try and hide this base as much as possible but it doesn't really matter because no one should grief it because it's, it should, it's mainly all claimed anyway we've got a lovely village breeder here and it is honestly impressive how much this pumps out supplies or how many villages they breed they just keep on breeding and it's so simple these villager designs now compared to what they used to be but then there's the iron farm. This is the beast of an iron farm. It does not look like much, but it pumps out the iron when you're loading up the area. It is very simple as well. Like, it's a simple design. They just come in, they flow along here, and then they fall down into the lava. And well, I have expanded the lava out a little bit more. So it's a little bit more quicker at killing them because it's just one spot and it's a bit of a delay. But as we can see here, we've got our lovely little Zombert friends here. They should be, they should be name tagged anyway. This one is called, uh, Jacinda. I'm pretty sure this one here is called Jacinda as well. Yep, Jacinda. And then, oi. Then we've got a couple of villagers here. They get scared. And they result in iron golems to spawn. But for some reason, they're not spawning right now. Hopefully you're going to see one spawn in soon. I think they're tracking to me, that's why. Let's just move over to here. Are you still tracking me? Come on, you need to ski it. They're both tracking me, that's why. Let's just go back out of here so they're no longer tracking me. Come over to here. <laughs> and hopefully we're going to see some spawn in. Hopefully. Now that I want them to spawn in, they probably won't want to spawn in. But then we have a little iron supply down here. Not that much iron, really. <laughs> It's not the best in the world, but I do manage to get these little zombies because they're not able to be spawned in the world, but I have got my hidden little spawner. And I have created myself a shop on the server as well called Kiwi Shop. And it's a nice little area down here. We have got basic ores, plenty of iron, and a massive select auger selection of all. I believe there's, what is it, 18 in total? 2, 4, 6, 8, 16 in total. And then we have a couple of little lanterns, and then we have our little supply of books. I'm not really sure if anyone's going here, but yeah, I'm going to try and expand things in the future. But anyway, I thought we need to work on the base a bit more. All the lovely lag that's generating. So what I thought I'd start off with doing in this world here, or since I've showed you around what I've done so far, and it's such a slow start, is I'm going to work on expanding out, or I'm going to expand this up a bit more higher, this farm. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to record doing this. I think I might just build it up anyway. 
course, I do have another account I could put on, but then I've got no way to record it because I don't have another screen or something like that there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build this here. Exactly like this one here, and I might do a little progress updates. As we can see, this is pumping out supplies and little items sorted down here. So I'll see you guys once I have built this area here. Okay everyone, I'm redoing this clip for a second time now because for some reason it recorded, but the screen was blank. So anyway, the farm is done. It took quite a while because I had to rebuild it up a bit higher because the uh, redstone was interfering with, well, the redstone powers around was interfering with these pistons here. And I had been running it for quite a while. And now I'm just trying to clear the backlog of blocks. And what I said in the last clip was that I'm going to be working on a super smelter sort of thing. This one here has done an amazing job, by the way, like just smelting away. But I have finally managed to make a new one. And it's hidden in here, so hopefully it should all work out. It was a nice little thing here. So you just push that there. That shoots away and they should all ignite up in one go. I, however, haven't tested it yet. I'm planning to test it out at some stage in the future. But anyway, during that time that this here has that I've built this here, the server has gone underneath a reset and it has actually gone somewhat over an upgrade, you may call it. And the upgrade was done by the architect or by the architect's donator, XX Andrew120. So he, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I've gotten that there wrong and if I've said the wrong name, but it was uh, um, upgraded, paid for an upgrade for the host. I'm not sure how it all works, but if we pop up to the top here, slash so top, you can see my base here, and you can see the render distance. Like it is honestly incredible how far you can see now. How crappy my base looks and something else that is now appearing is as you can see we have got some zombies down here I just thought oh, oh sorry villager I did not mean to swipe you but we have got zombies and everything coming in here so let's just go home base and let's just quickly grab some wood. There we go. That's a little bit better there. And the thing is that this villager breeder just keeps on pumping out the villagers. It's incredible. I just stood here and watched a whole lot just die because of entity cramming. That is incredible, that breeder. But anyway, mobs are now back on and spawning. And I, I have died a few times from them. Now at 13 deaths, but... It is incredible seeing everything load in. So if we go to spawn now, we should be able to see how far. This is the one issue I've got, right? One issue with the super upgrade. Now my connection looks fine. But I'm meant to be in spawn now and I just fall down, down, down into the darkness. As you can see, I'm now negative. 1,600 blocks below the surface. Oh, there we go. We're now here in the great spawn. And it's good when it does finally load in. And there we go. There is the lovely staff board there. I might just put a little video or a little clip of what the board used to look like when I used to play on the server. And there we go, people. This is in the old world that I've managed just to... I downloaded my little base here, but this is the staff board. So the time that this here, when I first left, when I left the server was the 12th of May 2017 was my last day being online. And well, I wasn't act really active then. I stopped being active after the 24th of September of 2016, but I popped on. And yeah, this is the board that used to be. And this is the old spawn that it used to look like when I used to be on here. So all nice and old. So we used to have the old little pathways going round. Nice, cool little stools here. And like some of the names are pretty. Um, and then we come around here. I had a free food stall up here. And then we have slime balls. I used to call myself the great shop. So you'd walk in here. And then you see, you see my 
little a creeper face up there. I used to have a little um, thing where you deposit a diamond and get a free enchanting book. And used to walk around in here and used to see all the stalls. So, yeah, this is what the place used to look like. How we used to sell everything, cook beef, cook chicken. And then I expanded it. That was so hideous that there. But I couldn't bull because it was in someone else's land. And then I had all my little stores down here. And then I did have a area. I used to have to go slash home for it. But I believe it is hidden in behind here was my main base area. So this is where I used to build everything. I'm not sure what this is for. <laughs> I'll balance what I used to have. <laughs> Obviously all the stuff out in my inventory. Some dispenser thing to remove. Obviously unwanted items. Junk. <laughs> Random stuff in there. I opened up most. Some of the chests I haven't opened up. So oh, cactus farm there. I'm not sure where that there used to take me to. But. Then most of my base was all flyable, so we said animals. Okay, oh, those old style farms. Looking for, I can't remember who used to be in there. But yeah, this is what my little base area used to look like. So, I was not meaning to break any rules by downloading this year. I thought I just wanted to try and save, save the world and see, so I can remember. Oh, takes her back to spawn. Welcome to the classic spawn. So yeah, one thing that I didn't notice on the school board is CC Shared is now owner of the service. That's a little bit different. A lot of the staff have disappeared. Chipra <laughs> looks like he's banned for life by the looks of things. Ugh. And then Luigi is now co-owner or head admin. Arms is gone. And yeah, it's changed around. I can't actually remember what this board looks like now, but it has gone through quite a bit of change. But yeah, this is what the old spawn area used to look like. And I still remember this being starting out, this world. It was incredible. All the lovely pillars that you see around. And the web wood, that was quite a cool creation there. And as you can see, the world just slices off there from where I saved it. But yeah, it was such a cool little world. Okay, I suppose I need to get back onto the server now. I did download that little area of the world, so hopefully that wasn't against the rules that I just showed you there. Anyway, this is a view of the lovely spawn. Like, look at this. That is incredible. Oh, eat, eat, eat fish. Lovely. And when I was flying over this building, I noticed that it used to have, yep, it's still there. Nice sag on the roof there. But anyway, spawn is coming along amazing. And like, how do people build like this? Honestly, it is incredible. And like, I'm not sure how they get these little bees, but they're so little cute, the little bees there. And I haven't come across bees in the game yet, but they look pretty incredible. And look at this. Look at that. A jacket beanstalk or flower, possibly, but... It's incredible what people can build. It's really like seeing spiders and mobs around everywhere now. But anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do for today. Showing you around my little base. Showing you around the basic spawn area here. It's pretty good catch up with you guys. And hopefully I might reveal some new videos in the future, I'm not exactly sure what I am going to do or what I'm going to really work on. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this weird little video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. And should I cue an outro? Okay, let's cue that stupid weird outro. Thanks.